So Nintendo just saved E3 by publishing the trailer for the Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel we've all been waiting for. I watched the trailer once, but now I want to watch it once again to listen to it from the perspective of a music producer with more critical ears to see if we can catch some clues about the story in the music. I'm gonna let the trailer run through completely and then I'm gonna dissect it. This is probably gonna be the darkest Zelda game so far, probably. And it already starts on a very big gigantic majestic orchestral sound. Wow. Nice modulation there. Same motif, but just more epic. The instrumentation is kind of similar to Breath of the Wild. What are these reverse vocals? We're gonna check them out later. That's Zelda's over by, by the way. Okay, essentially what we noticed so far is that the instruments are pretty much the same that we've heard in the previous Zelda game, like Breath of the Wild. We have like those traditional Asian instruments. As I explained in my music breakdown of Zelda Breath of the Wild's main theme, they use Chinese instruments in the main melody to represent the Sheikah tribe. Another thing we notice is that there's some like reverse sounds. That's the new thing. We have some reverse vocals, which are very similar to the ones we heard in the first trailer of this sequel. And I wonder what will happen if we actually reverse this track. Actually, a friend of mine, Aitai Kimochi on Twitter, actually published a version of this trailer reversed. I don't know, that part kind of sounds like a Metroid soundtrack to me, like da 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 ba 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 ba, like a bit of an alien melody. What if we turn it into Metroid? <laughs> That's probably a bit forced, but is there some functional melody hidden inside this reverse version? Yeah, that, that was definitely something. I'm not entirely sure if there's some hidden messages in there in reverse. I'm just noticing that the melodies they've wrote are very nice, even if you reverse them though, because there's all this space in between the notes. You could interpret them in both ways, and that's probably just a, you know, not by design. It's just they're so good that they, without knowing, write music that that sounds good even in reverse. I don't know. Anyway, this. This is definitely in the same style of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When I made the breakdown of the music on that game, I talk about how there's a piano playing very interesting chords. It also does flutters like this. And then you have a melody soaring on top of that, usually with strings and brass and stuff like that. Representing freedom. However, the thing that's different here compared to the trailer of Zelda Breath of the Wild is that in Breath of the Wild, the trailer actually starts soft and it starts with like this piano and stuff like that, representing the fact that the music in Breath of the Wild was gonna have a bit of that quality to it, a bit relaxing. And then only later, it goes on to... But well, here it starts with this like super big orchestral sound of like strings and brass leading the main melody in unison like that. When you have multiple instruments playing the same exact notes, it's called unison. That they usually do that to convey a melodic idea in a very strong way. And you would normally do this at kind of the middle of the trailer or at the end of the trailer, not here. You know, here the trailer just began. And it's a short trailer, but it's interesting. This starts with a blast like this of incredible energy. And obviously it's done to accompany the visuals of Link flying in the sky and feeling like free and stuff like that. That tells me maybe this time the music is not gonna be so silent and anonymous, but it's gonna be like in our faces most of the time. Which, by the way, I actually like the fact that Breath of the Wild's music was very subtle. I made a Twitter thread about that where I talked at length about my thoughts, but judging from this trailer, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the same. Maybe here they're gonna be for a more traditional route. But yeah, here we have the same thing. Like you have this melody and this beautiful piano chord. So they follow kind of the same idea. Those strings are so amazing though, like, I noticed the melody obviously, but what is accompanying the melody? That's so freaking cool. 
You know exactly what I'm about to say, right? When I hear strings and stuff like that, I just have to grab my bass and go to town. <laughs> And this is a classic, like, soaring fantasy score, you know, kind of Studio Ghibli, like. And then you have this, like, Metroid thing, and the brass that keeps on ascending. That is a very beautiful transition, by the way, because, like, most of this trailer has been Link soaring in the skies and walking around the fields, and, like, the earth is golden, and the skies are blue, and you have this beautiful color scheme of, like, gold and blue everywhere, and this beautiful music, you're like, whoa, I feel free. The instrumentation, again, is the same as Breath of the Wild, so it's, like, a glorious return to a land we knew, and now we can fly everywhere, right? But here you have this, for the first time, new instrument. Which again is like this vocal. This is a symphonic orchestral track using all the main instruments in the symphonic orchestras plus a layer of traditional razor instruments. But it didn't have electronic instruments until now. But these voices that you hear now, these are like electronically made. They're synthesized vocals and stuff like that. And for the game, I think they represent the presence of something a bit alien, something a bit external to our understanding of all that we've seen in the previous game. And that's why from here, then we transition kind of to like this, you know. So, the music is telling us, this is a double-edged game, you know? You have like, the freedom and the beauty and you can fly, but also the threat this time is even more dangerous. And that's, that's what I feel. That's the only part of the trailer where they went for a different sound. Then we have here, Zelda's Lullaby, played on Eru, I think. Is it an arrow? I don't know. It sounds like a traditional Asian string instrument. And yeah, it ends like that. It seems like they don't want to depart from this universe, just want to make it even more glorious and at the same time, darker too. They're going to pull from two separate directions. And I think this contrast is going to be very interesting. We already had a little bit of that with Breath of the Wild, you know, with the song that plays when the guardians find you, that creepy That song mostly has like piano and strings and stuff like that. But I remember there's something synthetic about it. And that's why that song creeps us out, by the way, because it's so alien to all the other songs in the game, to all the other instrumentation and stuff like that. And and it seems they uh, took that and they're gonna make it three or four times worse here. And I'm all up for it. In games like Zelda, the darkness is even stronger because it goes in contrast with this beautiful, wholesome atmosphere that is in the rest of the world. So in this game, that's what I feel we're gonna be up against. The darkness is so thick, I can taste it. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, might make another video more in depth about this music. I don't know. It's, it's a short trailer. I expect there's gonna be a longer one where we hear more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.